to my channel. My name is Casey if you are new here and if you are new, I would love for you to go down below and subscribe and click the little bell button so you'll never miss when I post a new video. This is my natural hair series called Curls with Casey. There is a full playlist with all the videos from this series. If you missed any of the previous ones, you can go ahead and click the playlist up above or down below. This hair series will go into full detail about everything you may need to know about going natural, um, whether you're new to being natural or you're natural and just don't know what you're doing. Hopefully these videos will help you out and um, I would love to see you in further episodes. So today we're going to be talking about some of my favorite natural hair tools. These are things that I literally don't think that I would be able to maintain my hair without. Some of them I use more often than others. Some of these tools are no brainers, but some of these you may have not heard about before, so I wanna share them with you guys and tell you guys how I use them. Okay, so the first thing that I think is very necessary as a natural girl is a satin bonnet or a satin pillowcase to sleep on. Clearly I have both because I'm extra, but you don't have to have both. You can just sleep in a satin pillowcase or sleep in a satin bonnet. It's just gonna help to make sure that your hair is not being um, snagged while you sleep. I can't tell you exactly where I got this satin bonnet from, because I got it probably from like a random beauty supply store. But you can get them from Walmart, Target, Walgreens, beauty supply store, anywhere. And this satin pillowcase is from Amazon. I'll put the link down below. This next item is a microfiber towel um, head wrap. You don't have to have a head wrap. I just prefer the head wrap because I think it's cute. You can use this or you can use a microfiber towel or you can use a regular t-shirt if you don't want to spend the money. You guys have probably seen me wear this a lot in my videos or one of my other ones. I have like five different colors and I got them in a pack of three from Target. I don't know, I haven't seen them there in a while, but you can probably find them on Amazon. Um, if I can find the link on Target, I'll put it down below. But I just think these are so cute. They're easy to throw on after you hop off the shower if you need to dry your hair, um, or if you need to sleep in your deep conditioner, I would highly suggest wearing one of these over top of your deep conditioning cap so that way it does not drip while you sleep. And they also dry really fast, so you don't have to wash them every time you use them. You can use it and then hang it up and it'll dry and it'll be ready for you to use the next time you need it. So yeah, get yourself a microfiber towel. These next two items are actually items that I have not touched in probably two years. <laughs> I typically use my fingers to detangle my hair all the time now. I just, my hair is very, very fine and I just feel like I'm pulling too much on my hair when I use these. However, if you have very thick hair, I would highly suggest a Denman brush or a detangling comb. Like I said, my hair is pretty fine and for the most part, it's not that dense, so it's easy for me to detangle my hair with my fingers. However, like I said, if you have thicker, denser hair, you want to get a tool like one of these, the Denman brush or the comb, to help detangle your hair because otherwise you're going to be in the shower detangling your hair with your fingers forever. My sister has very, 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 very dense, thick hair and she uses the Denman brush faithfully and she loves it. So I would highly suggest investing in one of these. This next item is literally essential for my twist outs, okay? This is one of those like portable blow up dryer thingies. It looks ridiculous when it's on, um, but it looks like this. And when you plug it up and you turn it on, it basically just turns into like a portable hair dryer. This one is by Bold and Hot. And um, <laughs> you guys, when I do my twist outs, 90% of the time they will not dry overnight on their own. So I usually have to sit under this for at least 30 minutes before I go to bed just to give my hair like a little bit of preheat so that way like while I sleep it'll do the rest. I travel with this like if I'm going somewhere and I know I'm going to be twist outs and I'm going to have to um, dry it in a short amount of time I'll take this with me. Um, like I said I use it before I go to sleep at night if I feel like my hair is too wet. It's just it's been a lifesaver for me like I said it looks crazy when it's on but it really does dry your hair a lot faster and like I said it's portable so it's a lot better than buying one of those big hooded dryers. It just really helps me out with drying my hair. So shout out to Golden Hot for this ridiculously looking blow up dryer. <laughs> this next tool is also something that's kind of new to me and I actually haven't been using it that often. Um, it's my diffuser that I got from Ulta. This is by Bedheads. It's actually really, really cute. But um, I'm still pretty new to washing clothes myself because I just recently figured out the best routine for me. So um, diffusers weren't really anything that I needed early in my journey. So I'm still kind of playing around with this, trying to figure out the best way to use it as well. However, um, when I do need to dry my hair a little bit quicker in the morning, I don't want to walk out with soaking wet hair. I'll just take this on my hair maybe 
three to five minutes, really not that long, not to dry my hair completely, but just to kind of relieve some of the water from my hair before walking out the door with soaking wet hair. I like this diffuser better than the attachments just because it's a lot bigger in size, so it will, um, get a bigger section on your head a lot faster. It's also really not that expensive. I think I got this for like $35. So if you don't blow dry your hair a lot, you don't really need a blow dryer, but you do want to try a diffuser, I suggest just getting one like this on its own. And um, I like it, it's great. <laughs> These next few things are things that I'm sure everyone has, but I want to kind of clarify the importance of making sure that they're in good condition. These are ponytail holders, bobby pins, and elastic headbands. And it is just really important to make sure that these items that you use on your hair are not snagged, they aren't broken, they aren't torn because they will rip your hair out. If you have ponytails like this and they're like showing the rubber band or they're kind of like stretched out too, too much, you're probably gonna break off a lot of your hair if you put that in and it's not good for your hair. If you have bobby pins like this and the ends are broken off, or they're like bent a little bit, you do not want to use them on your hair because it will pull your hair out. And it's also not good for your scalp either because when you put bobby pins um, that are broken a little too close to your scalp, it can actually scratch your scalp. And then the elastic headbands you also want to make sure um, are not like torn or broken because if the band is too, too small, it will pull out your hair. So like I said, I'm sure those are things that everyone has, but I just want to make sure that you guys are keeping up with them, repurchasing them when you need to, and not using ones that are like damaged or broken. This next item is also a necessity that I didn't know that I needed until recently. It is my shower mirror. It has like the little suction cups on the back so you can stick it onto your shower. And this thing has saved my life also because when I do wash and go, sometimes I can't see um, my hair in the shower. Well, obviously, if I, if I don't have a mirror in the shower, um, I can't see it. So when I have this in there, it really helps me to be able to see my hair and um, just get it done a lot quicker. Very, very small, so you can actually travel with it as well. Well, I got it on Amazon, but I'm gonna have to find it again to figure out exactly what vendor I got it from. But I love the size, like I said, because I can travel with it when I'm in like a hotel. I can take this, just stick it on the shower real quick, and then take it off. So yeah, it just makes styling your hair in the shower a lot easier. This next item is something that is very dear to my heart because without it, I would not be able to achieve twist outs. I would not be able to achieve this beautiful big puff. It is my handy dandy pick. I actually have um, two of them. I have a plastic one and I have, um, what, what is this called? What material is this? Metal. I have a metal pick. And there's really no difference between the two. They do the same exact thing. This one is just a little bit longer, so when I want my hair to be really, really fluffed out and get really, really up into my roots, this one is the one I'll use. And if I just need like a little bit of extra fluff like at the ends, I use this one. Picks also actually come in different sizes, so if you have smaller hair, if you have smaller hair, if you have shorter hair, you can get a smaller pick, and that way you can like get smaller sections a lot easier. I'll put the link to one down below. But yeah, I think it's pretty self-explanatory why natural girls need picks. Sometimes our hair just is flat <laughs> and we need something to kind of fluff out our roots a little bit. This next item is something that you guys have also seen in a lot of my videos and it is my spray bottle of water. Shout out to Kira for buying me this on the first day of freshman year in college two years ago. I still have it, girl. <laughs> but yeah, if you wanna have a spray bottle of water and I personally like to add either coconut oil or a little bit of my favorite leave-in conditioner in it just so that whenever I need to like spritz my hair or refresh my hair, it has something in it other than water, like an oil or a leave-in. You can just use it whenever. And I like having a big uh, water bottle like this just so that whenever I grab it, it already has water in it. I don't have to worry about like refilling it that often. And also, it's very, very handy for when you're washing your hair and you're not in the shower and you don't want to like dip your head into the sink every time you need more water in your hair. Having a spray bottle is very handy. You can just Spray some more water on and move about your day and not worry about, you know, getting water all over you. I have no idea where Kira got this from. Kira is my roommate, by the way, if you're new here. Go check out some of our vlogs. <laughs> but anyway, um, I have no idea where she got this from. So I'll just try to find another one similar to this on Amazon and I'll put the link in the description box below for you guys. This next item is essential for deep conditioning. Um, I personally like to use deep conditioning caps, like the ones that you can actually buy in the beauty supply store. I bet I buy like a pack of 100 every few months or so. However, I know some people don't like to spend money on simple things like that, so you can always use a regular um, plastic bag from like Walmart, Publix, BJ's, you know, stores where you can get plastic bags from. And just use that to cover your hair when you're deep conditioning. Um, when you cover your hair while deep conditioning, it just helps to make sure that there's heat being produced 
and the heat will allow the um, product to penetrate into your hair a lot better. Some people think that it helps to make your hair absorb the product faster, but I personally don't think it makes it any faster. It just helps to make it a lot more efficient. So yeah, if you don't wanna spend the money on actual plastic caps, get yourself some trash bags and you're good to go. This next item comes in many different sizes, shapes, types, and all that stuff. But you just wanna have some type of band to lay your edges down, girl. I have like five of these. I have a red one, I have a blue one, I have a black one, I have another purple one. <laughs> but you can, you don't have to use an actual band like this. I actually have no idea where I get these from. I'm pretty sure I, I usually get them from the beauty supply store up in Maryland, but I, I have no idea. But you can probably get them on Amazon. I'll put a link below, of course. You don't have to use a regular band like this to lay your edges. You can use any like silk scarf or um, Really any scarf will help to lay your edges down. I just personally like the bands because they're just easy. And they're only like $2. <laughs> this next item may not seem like a necessity, but when you try it, you'll never not use it again. This is the Vanity Planet um, Scalp Massaging Brush. And you probably have seen this all over YouTube because every single YouTube influencer on the planet of Earth has this. Just like the Spinner Perfect Skin, like we all have it. But honest to G.O.D., it works. The Spin Perfect Skin works and so does this scalp brush. Like we're not just saying it just because we got it for free. Like it really does work. I just feel like it really helps to lift product buildup. It just feels good and soothing when you're massaging it onto your scalp. Especially when you use some type of stimulating conditioner or stimulating shampoo that has like peppermint or eucalyptus or rosemary where you can like feel it tingling. When you use that and you use this as well, it literally feels like you're pampering yourself. It's amazing. And when you're exfoliating your scalp like that, you're also helping to encourage hair growth. I typically don't use this every time I wash my hair, because sometimes I'm just lazy and don't feel like it, but I try to do it at least once every two weeks just to help exfoliate my scalp, soothe my scalp, treat myself, and I just love it. I'll put the link to the description box below and I'll also have a coupon code for you guys for this as well. Last but not least, I have a drainer. I personally lose a decent amount of hair when I'm washing my hair for some reason it's just been like that forever it just breaks easily <laughs> and I have a good, I have like a lot of fallout when I wash my hair so whether I wash my hair in the shower or I wash my hair in the sink um, I like to use some type of drainer to make sure that my hair is not like clogging my sink this one is my one from my kitchen because I actually do wash my hair out here now because it's more space it just more spacious. My bathroom is kind of small, so I like to wash my hair in the kitchen. And yes, I have two different drainers. I have one for my hair and I have one for when I do dishes. But having a drainer just really helps to make sure that your hair is being caught in here. I think I broke it. No, I didn't break it. I didn't break it. I didn't break it. It just really helps to make sure that your hair is being caught in here and not clogging your sink. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you have seen some new things that you've never heard of or you've never tried and you want to try some new things. These things have really helped me out throughout my journey and I'm always constantly trying new things and methods and tools and products and everything. So I'm going to continue sharing them with you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to comment and of course subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.